Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel today for a fun new review. Today I am going to be reviewing the Jujubee 24-7 Taupe from the Beyond Collection and I have this bag here in the vanilla color. It is so pretty in this color. I love it. The vanilla color I'd say is kind of a very light creamy beige but it is a super pretty color. This bag also features some champagne gold hardware, which is really, really pretty with this collection. The Beyond collection is made of this gorgeous, supple vegan leather. I love it, it is so smooth and soft. If you guys have ever owned a lambskin bag, it feels just like that, only this is a vegan leather bag. So that makes this bag basically waterproof, except for on the small holes on the top here that expose your things, but other than that, this bag wipes clean if you get something on it, which is really handy when you have a baby. And I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of this video where I showed you this bag on the body. As you saw, you could use the tote straps to grab it and go. You can use it in the crook of your arm. You can also use the included messenger strap that comes with this bag. It looks like this. It's actually really nice. I love the details that they did. There's that gorgeous champagne gold hardware. And then on the strap part that goes on your shoulder, it's actually the vegan leather. And it feels really, really nice on the shoulder. So you can wear this over the shoulder and cross body. So let's do a quick tour of the outside of the bag. As I mentioned, you have these grab handles on top here. Perfect for toting this bag around town if you don't wanna use the strap. You have a really cool pocket in the very front here that actually has a double purpose. So let's go over the first purpose so far. You have a little slip pocket back here, so you can put in receipts and things like that fairly quickly. Anything flat there I think would work really well. You also have this part of the pocket that you can keep your things in as well. And the best part of it is that you can actually pull this entire thing out and use this as a clutch for like date night and stuff, so I love that. Or if you wanna go on a quick trip and you just need to grab and go your essentials, you can put your phone in here, your wallet, some keys and things like that, and just grab this and go. So I love that, it just fits right back down in here. And it has a very soft closed magnetic closure in the very front. So that is a really, really cool pocket. The sides of the bag look like this. You can see it's got a little bit of smooshing. <laughs> Depends on how you have it packed up inside. Um, and once you set it down too, it kind of smushes a little bit. But this is what the side of the bag looks like. The underneath part, you'll see there are no feet on this bag. And I kind of wish there were feet. I feel like with this bag, that would have been a really good addition, but it does not include those. Here's the other side of the bag here. One thing I love about these Beyond Collection bags that just came out, are the hand sanitizer holders. They are adorable and they're super functional. You can easily uh, remove the container that comes with this bag and refill it as needed. It is super cute. I just love it. I love those little details. The back of the bag is flat, pretty plain. There's nothing going on back here. But one of the things I really like about this bag is just how streamlined it looks because I love simplicity. And this bag, I feel like really has that minimalistic look that I love. So that is it for the outside of the bag. And then on the top, you'll see you have this nice zippered opening here. But that is all that you have going on on the outside of the bag. So let's go ahead and get started with unpacking this. So in the very front here, I only have something in the inside pouch here. So I just have my phone here. If it's really great down in this pocket, I just wanted it there because normally on a bag like this, if it had side pockets, I'd keep my phone over here just for easy grabbing. But because this is the only outside pocket, that's where I decided to keep my phone and it works really, really great in that spot. I don't have anything else in there even though I could technically fit in more back there. I just, <laughs> you guys know I'm a minimalist so I did not need to put anything else in there. So that's all that I have on the outside of the bag. Let's go ahead and jump onto the inside. So this is what the top of the 24-7 tote looks like. As I showed you guys before, you have this nice long zipper on the top here. So let's go ahead and unzip this. And I also wanted to mention, if you guys see anything in this video that you love, you can always shop Jujubee with me if you wanna click the link in the description below. That is my affiliate link. And you can shop through my link anytime to find any Jujubee that you want. And if you see anything else in this video that's not Jujubee, I will also leave links for those. So one of the great things about the top of this bag is if you don't wanna use these flaps on the bag that keep it closed and you need easier access to your things inside, you can always just keep those flat and keep that zipper down like that. So if you wanted to keep it open, you could and just use it like this. 
but I do like that it keeps all your things contained if you have it zipped all the way. So here is how I have it packed up right now. I have a medium set piece on top, so I'll go through that first. I have it here in the new Tea Time print, which is absolutely adorable, and I really love the new hardware that they are putting on these. It actually matches the hardware on this bag perfectly, which is one of the reasons that I decided to pair them together because I thought that the vanilla looked so pretty with the Tea Time print. So in here, I just have a few snacks for my son. I do have this bag packed up for me and my four-year-old, by the way. <laughs> so in here, we just have some go-go squeeze, a granola bar, some almonds, and then we also have some yogurt raisins. So that's just our little snack bag while we're out and about. And that's all that was in there. I did also want to mention, this is how I have the rest packed up, by the way, but the bag also comes with its own change pad. It is a black change pad with kind of this champagne type of lining. It is a memory foam change pad. So if you wanted to use this bag as a diaper bag, you can. If you want to use it as a work bag, you can. But just keep in mind, if you are going to use it as a diaper bag and you need to use the change pad, there is no actual internal pocket in this bag for that. So you kind of just have to loosely keep it fitted in the middle here. So as you can see, you have a good amount of space in the very centered compartment of the bag. You also have a few pockets you don't have any bottle pockets though, but you do have four other pockets that you can use for diapers, wipes, and things like that. I think we're gonna go ahead and start with the things on the very back here. So I'm not sure if I put anything back here. I might have, yeah, I did. <laughs> In here I have a small set piece. This is just things that I keep for myself. So I have some chapstick, lotion, lip gloss, a mirror, and a folding hairbrush down in there. But this is just the small set piece in tea time, super cute. That is all that I had in this back pocket, but it is a very nicely sized pocket and it comes right behind these felt pockets here. Which by the way, I thought that was interesting that Jujube added felt pockets, but one of the cool things about felt pockets is that you can definitely keep your phone in there, a small camera. If you're using this bag for work, it's a good place to keep your charging cables and things like that. Things that might otherwise like scratch something important in your bag, that's a good place to keep those types of things in the felt line pockets. So one of the things I decided to put in there was my keys because my keys tend to get hooked on things quite often. They're kind of sharp. As you can see, I've got a sharp one there. So that's the last thing I want damaging the inside of a beautiful bag like this. So I love that there was a felt lined pocket for those. In the opposite side here, I actually have my small piece from the Limea brand Trifecta. I absolutely love this and I will link my video for my review on the trifecta right here if you guys would like to check it out. And here I just have my wallet basically. So I have my vaccination card there and I also have my vanilla Beyond Collection wallet here. This is the coffee break wallet and I love this thing. I take this little set here <laughs> with me everywhere now. I love it. And this is a good size pouch. So knowing that it can fit in there is just great. But as I mentioned before, these pockets are actually big enough to hold your diapers and wipes if you needed them to, but so are these ones over here. So we'll get into those in just a second. There's also one more smaller pocket here in the very front. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And I decided to put my tissues in there and they just fit great. I did try to stick my phone in there, but I have an 11 Max Pro and it was just way too big for that pocket. But if you have like a smaller phone, that would be a great place for that because it is right backing up to the felt. So I really like that. But the pocket itself is actually that vegan leather material. So it's, it's a great little pocket. I'm not sure what else I would use it for personally, unless you had a really small phone. So let's go ahead and flip this bag around so you guys can see the other side. So those are the other pockets here. These are vegan leather trimmed pockets, just like the other ones, but these are not the felt pockets. These are just, it's like the lining that they used on the bag. It feels like that. So in here I have my wipes. I have a wipe pouch 30 down in there. And then on the other side, I have a wet bag. This is my baby Alay wet bag. It's actually pretty good size, as you can see. So if there's an accident or a mess of some sort that we need to contain, then this is a great bag to carry that in case my son has an accident or something. But that is all that I had in those. And then you have one more zippered pocket just like the one on the other side of the bag here. And this one I don't have anything in, but it is a good size pocket. So this is how I have the rest of the bag packed up. 
just the main compartment to go through now. And so let's go ahead and go through this first. I have my son's Kindle Fire 7 tablet. This is full of educational games on it. So if we get stuck somewhere and he needs something to keep him busy, this is great. I've been loving that for him and he just, he's obsessed with it. I also have his water down in here and that's a great cup too, by the way. I love these, they don't spill ever. And then also down there, I have my large set piece and this is in the tea time print. I also wanted to mention on the tea time stuff, you have these adorable little tassels. They are so cute. That is so new to me with the B sets. That and then also the new logo. I love it though. Makes this really easy to open. So in here I just have a change of clothes for my son. I have a little pair of underwear on top, a t-shirt, and a little pair of shorts down in there for him. So that is all I have in this bag, you guys. But as you can see, it has a ton of space. Like this was a really great bag for just me and my son. And you could totally make it work for two kids, I think too, depending on how old they are. And then also, I think this would be a great bag for work as well if you had a smaller laptop. To me, it looks like I could fit my 13 inch in here, but definitely a 12 inch laptop could fit in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. And I would love if you guys would shop GGB with me. You can find this gorgeous 24 seven tote on their website and the GGB accessories that I've included in this video are also available as well. Thanks for watching.